SK, this is gonna be something we have we don't see very often, so I, I have emotions about these characters, and I'm gonna be esports about it, and I'm gonna say I'm excited to watch this match. <laughs> But we've seen like how good and bad and has had it this season. Very impressive showing at Heatwave as well as other tourneys. Whoa! Is, but Rift coming out from Georgia. Uh, I don't think Rift's been playing as much this season. I mean, <laughs> enough to get top six, uh, 16, so mm -hmm. I'm impressed. And right now we're seeing these campouts with the back airs. Yeah, back airs is it's such a good move for. You know, good for comboing, good for baiting out options because you think you may be able to punish it. Yeah. And you, you were wrong, and you're gonna eat some, some flames for it. Nice parry. Nice parry. No team up, unfortunately. Nice parry again! That you don't need, you don't need the team up for to kill for that time. A yeah, little, little, little backhand with my buddy here. <laughs> you know, we mentioned Ori's mobility and just how it completely stuffs out setup characters and SK is like the setup character in this game. He has to get that advantage rolling in order to even have a chance at getting his complete moveset. Oh my goodness! Oh, wow, ridiculous kill. Going all the way out and Ori with the great mobility able to drift all the way back. Attacking on more percent and bad is stealing this game. He's running away with it. He is coming out swinging. I think uh, I think uh, Rift is doing a little more swinging, but and that's the one who's hitting right now. <laughs> sure, but and that is just doing such a good job with his stage positioning, forcing Rift into these uncomfortable positions, and, and just ooh, but nice catch with the up tilt there. Oh wow, gonna, gonna catch a parry attempt on that second border that didn't happen, and able to get his dollar bills. He's gonna get more money, but he's gotta eat this edge guard. He's got almost no resources left. He's gonna land on that platform. With the Ori, you gotta be careful with her, just as raw strongs. That high base, that higher base knockback, and especially since you are lighter, it's gonna make it very tricky. But the momentum mail is on deck, finally! Now SK might have a small chance of keeping Rift up with Ori's playing. crazy mobility. <gasps> there we go. Like we were saying, you gotta watch out for that F strong. Definitely gotta watch out for that. Uh, yeah. Um, ouch is all what I gotta say about that. <laughs> you know that? I I don't know if I can, man. <laughs> I, I I don't know if I can, man. Two stocks, sub 90%. Um, yeah, moving on to this game, you know, Enbad comes back with a vengeance. He, he does not want to, he doesn't want to go back. Wherever, wherever going back is with SK, he doesn't want to be there. <laughs> and yeah, choosing it to run for the game too, considering how close that was, again, it makes sense. You just gotta make that like one crucial adaptation in order to take the game. Yeah, and then you don't have to worry about the stage for the rest of the set. Uh, Rift definitely playing Ori, Hunt Ori Hunting Simulator 2023 right now. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he's, you know, right now I think the struggle for SK is, you know, well known. If he has no items, it's kind of hard for him to establish space. Uh, a lot of what those items do is they allow him to punish certain options. Ooh, didn't commit to the full down air. Gonna, he's gonna be able to return. But, uh, like I was saying, uh, SK has a little bit of struggle, uh, Establishing his his space without you know, barring tools like back air, he needs that he needs that cash dollar. For sure. And uh, yeah, there he goes down to the depths. He's doing a little cave diving right now to get his fish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, going doing the kind of that... cycle or uh, uh, recovery as last time. And that gonna cover it this time. Yeah, but momentum mail is much is on deck much earlier than the last game. It might make it tricky for Enbad, especially because it gives SK just that little bit more survivability and that little bit more mobility. But yeah, he's still, a... you are Ori, you are so fast, you have Sign. I mean, it may not come, it may not like be too much of a, of a deficit. Yeah, I mean, Rift, he, he had a lot of money, but he made a great investment in his neutral and investment in his investments. And now that, uh, ooh, wow, see. that was almost a kill, I'm not gonna lie. Gonna, gonna smash deck out of it. Ooh, F smash to punish. 
Or are you gonna go all the way up? Most out of these F strongs. I'm securing that second stock. Big Ori moment. Uh, even stocks though. Um, can Rift take this next game, or can uh, can Endai bring it back from the depths? He's taking a lot of percent right now, but he's gonna make it back on stage. Yeah. Oh wow, another Endai. Endai doing a pretty good job right now, just choosing to play a little more for bait and punishy. But Rift is getting in these stray hits, and especially as a lightweight, you don't want to, you can't really afford to take those stray hits. Definitely not. Well, we're gonna see the up throw barely whiffing on on Enbad there. But the rock is out on play. Rift doing a good job of Oh that was scary. <laughs> getting the stage control going. It's like he's got a uh, momentum mail, but he he didn't need, need to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Whoa! goodness, gonna kill off the top with the feather! <laughs> Mobile, yeah, mobile gear. Um, he's he's sliding with the whip, but the the whip is not enough to save him from holding up on Oriapi. Because that that was some harsh di up. If yeah. I if I want to do a little analysis. Very very cheeky kill to secure that game into there. But as we are moving on into our game through on treetop, well, not like cloud layout's a lot different. You know, probably gonna come in handy. But if Enbad like makes those adaptations where he like, chooses to like, use that Ori mobility, you go in, rack up that little percent, and then retreat with sign. Like game might go differently. These games have been very even so far. Yeah, definitely uh props to uh, both of these players for uh you know, even in the face of danger playing quite patiently. Yeah, we brought this we brought this set up to even and we, we gotta see who pulls out ahead. Rift also playing very patient right now. Choosing to Excuse just me. kind of space those back airs and if you if a stray hit manages to connect, trying to go for a little bit of a string, but nothing too committal. Yeah, making the very wise neutral choice of avoid Ori most of the time. Or see another oh, anchor nice into the <gasps> Oh my goodness! Amazing Ori is from Enbad there. Nice whiff punish on the side B. He's gonna do it again. We're gonna see the nice. carry into the up strong. Nice parry. Oh, I, he might have tried to sign tap there. Actually, but the sign was just a little bit too out of position, unfortunately. But we're seeing a lot of rolls come out right now, but that raw up strong is gonna catch Enbet off guard. Alright, <laughs> ripped. Every SK upstrong is raw. <laughs> it's, it's, it's raw as heck. Really <laughs> right now, so Enbad holding the lead ever so slightly. Riff does manage to find these little bit of hits though. Oh, he's making phenomenal use of this up tilt to kind of create a bubble. Where when Enbad tries to approach and Enbad just keeps getting caught by it. Yeah, up tilt really disjointed, but it's like there's no hitbox like inside of SK. So if you manage to get him on like a bad side, that was three dash jacks in a row. That was awesome. Uh, if you <laughs> manage to get him on the bad side of his up tilt, you can punish him, but from the air, it's quite hard. Yeah. Oh, the momentum mail is on deck, and so is the mobile gear right back to back with the relics. Yeah, it's amazing it's stalling from Rift there. Oh. oh my goodness, he is not letting Enbad come back to stage. He's forcing him high, keeping him in the air, not letting him land at all. He's really just hopping on his car and saying, let's go take a drive by where Enbad is and see what's up. <laughs> uh, but the parry into the team up strong, gonna secure that second stock to Enbad. Right now, so whoever takes this game is gonna have a lot of momentum going into the rest of the set. Rift's gotta find this kill, he's gotta find it soon! I always think uh, game, game 3 is the, 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 the most important game in best of 5, because you're either winning, you, you, you either won, you either lost, or you, you're, you're getting reverse 3 0 or you're coming back. Mm -hmm. And I think all, all of those are potential in this big old game 3. Yeah, like especially when you are at the point of a best of 5 where it effectively becomes a best of 3, 
be nice parry on the F-Strong there. They're very doable for Rift right now. No, it's gonna be huge. You can judge whether or not you're able to make it back or not. Nice F-Strong. Gonna take that game, and he's gonna establish his lead in the set, and not just the game. Yeah, and bad. Bad forcing Rift on his potential little tourney game. I keep forgetting we're losers now. All these matches mm -hmm. are... All these matches are scary. We're gonna get the SK home advantage with the triple pawn. Yeah, this on stage is side... definitely... Say it's, it's growing on me. That you, you were saying that the side platforms. Mm -hmm. Like how they overhang on Spirit Tree gonna help with the recovery. Oh my goodness, what a trade. And we keep seeing just cut just kind of these same game plans. Means Rift Space and with these back here, it's working out for him. Yeah, at this point in the set, you you know, you and your opponent have established what you want to do. It's all about refining that game plan. Ooh, and refining that that nice Ori up air. Gonna be able to catch the DI out, sending Rift to an early doom. <laughs> Ooh, amazing recovery from Venda. Choosing to go high to avoid that, that down strong. But the parry F strong is gonna send him immediately off stage as the rock comes out. I'm gonna even up that stock count. Little Rift again, almost getting mobile gear on deck. And or momentum mill, whichever he chooses to go for first. Yeah, uh, he's gotta make this choice. It's gotta be it's gotta be a smart one, because it has to be able to cover Ori's aggression and these platforms, which give Ori an even better idea of uh, you know the number of angles uh, they can approach from. Mm -hmm. It also gives them a lot more opportunities to go you know, off the stage for those up air chases. But All choosing right. to go for the momentum move, valuing that weight and mobility over the neutral tool. Oh my goodness. Back I've never seen back air kill that early. <laughs> Just some weird a bit of weird DI there. Nice full charge. Yeah, these two just keep on scrapping with each oh, other. Mobile Gear actually kind of messing uh, Rift up there. The little hop it does at the ledge, kind of throwing him off. <laughs> We're seeing again Rift kind of bunker down, go for these back airs. We saw the sliding parry, unfortunately for Rift, and that wasn't mashing. Oh, mobile gear gonna mess up a bit if uh, I, I I I've been in that situation where you're on mobile gear and you're off stage and you like roll or something and you're just plummeting at 40 miles an hour down. <laughs> it's, a, it's a scary time. Mobile mobile gear is a little like, forgive me, I'll say it, it's a little jank. <laughs> Moving platform has not yet been perfected. <laughs> <laughs> but like you know, just despite that, Rift is doing such a good job of using mobile gear for the stage control. Well, not really getting any super long strings right now, uh, but keeps racking up this percent and oh, fortunate no. SD from Enbad there. Unfortunate. Uh, I'm gonna ignore that though. But yeah, Rift managing to bring it to the game five, as we are going to air Armada to end things up. Love this stage. <laughs> yeah, those tight, those tall plats near the ceiling, and also the fact that there is no down wall right so it's gonna make it harder for you know if you get spiked by either of these characters which is it's both possible um mm -hmm. it's gonna make that recovery a little more difficult because if you don't have that intense vertical lift if you kind of get caught in that little lip you are you're done i mean it's yeah. ggs very easy to get pineapple we're coming out with the up airs no back air to connect though okay like sylvanos in the stage i feel like dude i mix it all <laughs> poor, <laughs> that poor little dog <laughs> I'll comment on that later, but it's, it's hearing all these silver opinions are very funny. Yeah, but right now, um, oh my goodness, the up strong, like you said, it's raw. It's gonna hit both the orb and Enbad. Send him on the other side of the stage, but immediately wow, getting reversed into an edge guard situation. He, he wave dashed off the edge in between the hits of Upbeat. That was that was scary for Enbad, but he manages to get a stock out of it. <laughs> Right now. Ooh, oh, that parry was secure the stock. It'll be a bit rough. 
But for Rift right now, his Ori is in the tech chasing mindset. But as soon as I say that, he immediately throws him back off stage. Yeah, both these characters uh, uh, are doing an excellent job of recovering against the other's tools. I mean, SK, you know, despite his stature as a, a worst character in the game, has a lot of tools for recovering, and he plays against the wall really well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but Rift is setting on the back foot right now, and Bat is doing a great job of keeping up the pressure, not giving Rift many opportunities to get those stray hits in. Momentum Mail is on deck, but unfortunately, F tilt into the F strong. Alright, he's, he's got one more stock. stock. He has got to make this investment work with, with one stock left. Mm -hmm. And uh, Enbad's only go goal is to ruin the SK economy right now. Yeah. Again, going for that downer setup. Uh, he might be looking for a DI in there, and Rift is just not giving it to him. Good awareness from Rift there, if that is the case. But Enbad is just keeping up the pressure. Oh my goodness, the. Lockout so, removal coming in handy and the double tap into the Kamehameha as Enbat takes it 3 2 in a nail biter of a set. Excellent confirm from Enbad. Just it, he, he he gave him the, the business there. He said, you know what, you wanna you wanna step into my house? Here's the door. Alright. So next we are gonna have I mean, first of all. Congrats to both players. You played really well. That was a very entertaining set. Uh, Rift out at 13th, if I'm correct. correct. And Bad going to be moving on. Yeah, moving and, on uh, to the topic qualifiers. But up next, we've got yeah. Penny versus...